There's a nifty little feature I wanted to cover today that's hidden somewhat in FL Studio. I've been using FL Studio for about two years and I've known about it for a while, but it's not something that you kind of think about or it's not something that's immediately apparent that actually exists. So, you know, if you've brought up a piano or some other VST plugin that has sounds in, synthesizers and so on, you're just playing around on the keyboard, you know, like this. You know, you don't really know what you're doing. You don't really know what style of song you want to do. You're just playing around, you're having fun, which is what music's about. However, over the space of, you know, the five, 10 minutes or so that you're playing around, there was, a, there was just a, a snippet somewhere that you really liked. But of course you were just freestyling. So you don't actually remember what it was you played. There's a feature in FL Studio that allows you to, well, what it does is it, it records your MIDI input in the background. And then if you want to recall that MIDI input, you can paste it onto the piano roll. So like I said, if you're, if you're just playing around. And it, tu it turns out that you liked a really simple five note melody. You can go to tools and then dump score log to selected pattern. So what that does is, as I explained earlier, is it, it dumps the MIDI input that FL Studio is recording in the background onto the piano roll. So if I play that back, you're just going to hear exactly what I played earlier on in the video. And let's try that one more time. So I'm just going to quickly play the C major scale, which is just C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. If I delete that quickly, and then and if I just repeat what I've done, so dump the score log to the selected pattern, you should get the C major scale input that I've just done. Let's move that across. And there we are. Don't be afraid to freestyle any piano inputs or any, any MIDI instrument inputs because FL Studio cleverly saves what you've inputted that you can then reuse for later on. As always, if you like the video, please hit the subscribe button on screen for future videos and drop me a comment below if there are any particular areas or plugins you would like me to cover. Until next time.